Can you please send in Jessica? Hi. Jessica, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Hi. you too, Dr. Dr. Nassif. Nassif. Hi, Dr. Jabril. Pleasure to meet Pleasure. you. Pleasure. This is Jenny. My... Jenny, friends. Nice to meet you. Yeah, best friend. friends. Best, best friends. friends. Oh, yes. Yeah. Best friends for how long? 15 years yeah. now. Wow. Years. We've been best buddies for how long now? About 20. And I absolutely can't stand 21. Him. <laughs> and I can't stand the guy. You know, I'm just so good looking there, you know. He's just very uh, oh, oh, the good looking thing. Uh, you know what? I defer to the dolphin when he says things like that. You know what the dolphin would say I... when he says good looking? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, welcome. You've had some functional surgery that's gone wrong. Yes, but I had really bad allergies. I really nasal drip or what? I had bad nasal drip, and they prescribed a bunch of different nasal sprays. I was using it like five times a day, at least five years. Ooh. It was bad. When you use chronic nasal sprays, decongestants in the nose, the tissue, the turbinates, and the septum mucosa shrink. But then you get this rebound effect when you stop using it and they get really swollen. Then you can't breathe. That means you get addicted to it. So what you have to do at that point is use it again. So it's a vicious cycle. When I went and saw the ENT, he had weaned me off okay, the nasal very decongestants. Good. Yes. And I wanted to be able to breathe normally. I'm very active. So he suggested surgery. So did the doctor say they were going to do septoplasty? Septoplasty. Turbinoplasty? I heard that one too. Yes. So that's a functional surgery that doesn't change, usually, the outside appearance of the nose. And I had no problem with the cosmetic side of it. So what happened? After two weeks, when all of the packing started coming out, he had me sit in a shower. I would blow it out gently. And it was kind of like black stuff just coming out of my nose. It just was not normal. It's rare that a patient takes out their own packing. Yeah. That's what the doctor is there for. And in that two-week period, your nose still looked the same, right? It still looked the same. Okay. And, you know, I eventually went back in and told him, I was like, hey, like, I'm I can't really breathe. not breathing. He suggested a revision. That's when I started to notice a lot of this was really not it was how it used in? to be. Yes. So only after the second surgery, yes. so your nose started different. looking different. Yeah. The bump here was very visible. And you still couldn't breathe now? Still couldn't breathe. So I end up going with a new doctor. Was your breathing a little better after that surgery? No, my breathing is still Did your awful. nose change more cosmetically? It, it just seemed to get a little funkier wave going on. Hmm. And that was your last surgery? Yeah. After that third surgery, I fell into a little bit of depression. Just going on a date and eating in front of somebody, having to like breathe through my mouth. When food is falling out of my mouth on a first date, that does not go over well. And so I've lost my love life as well. So the pressure's on us. Pressure's on.